What happens if you put a small dog in a cage with cheetahs? Naturally, nothing good can come of it. But what if the dog is a robot? This experiment was conducted at the Sydney Zoo as part of the Animal Interaction Project, which explores the reactions of wild animals to robots. A robot dog was placed in a cheetah enclosure. The goal is to introduce something new to the animal's familiar environment and give them a novel experience. As the robot dog was brought up to the cage, everyone held their breath. The cheetahs seeing the strange creature through the mesh stared at it in surprise. Out of fear, the cats started hissing, even though the dog hadn't yet entered their territory. The cheetahs were agitated, but the robot dog fearlessly moved towards its target. The experiment aimed to see if the animals would pursue the robot, so it needed to get very close, within a meter. A person off-camera controlled the dog, making it run towards the enraged animal. For a moment, it was almost pitiful to see the android puppy approaching the big cat so innocently as if wanting to play. It was clear that the spotted predators were frightened by the robot dog. The second cheetah even left the frame entirely. The bewildered cheetahs adopted a defensive rather than offensive stance. It's amusing how, out of confusion, the predators didn't even try to eat what had boldly invaded their space. When the dog stood on its hind legs and started waving its paws, the cheetah still sat there completely puzzled. It turned out to be quite an unusual experiment. However, the visit to the cheetahs wasn't the only adventure for the robot dog. As part of the Animal Interaction Project, the friendly robot dog visited several other animals, including predators like hyenas and lions. The lion's reaction was particularly interesting. The predators curiously watched the strange creature through the mesh as it was brought up to their cage. They eagerly tried to interact with the dog, but the cage prevented them from doing so. It was clear how fascinated they were by the new uninvited guest. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately for the robot dog, the experimenters decided not to let it enter the lion's cage. Nevertheless, it was fascinating to observe the kings of the jungle reacting to the robots of the future. There are more and more robots being developed. Besides industrial systems, there are already robotic humanoids, robot bulls and robot dogs. Currently, such systems lack a quality AI capable of fully controlling the machine. However, over time, this issue might be resolved, and some futurists claim that once real AI is created, humans may have to fight against their creations. In this war, humans will have an ally, the dog. It seems that dogs don't like the noisy and clunky robots with their manipulator arms clanging on the pavement. One of the most popular videos on YouTube demonstrates a dog's reaction to the sudden appearance of a robot from Boston Dynamics. The robot's name is Spot, and the dog's name is Alex. The dog belongs to Andy Rubin, one of the creators of Android and the former head of various robotic projects at Google. The dog didn't enjoy the company of the robot very much. However, it is worth noting that despite the significant advancements in artificial intelligence, robot dogs have not yet reached the level of autonomy where they can influence humans or dogs in any significant way. So, dogs can rest easy for now. The war between robots and humans is still a long way off. Every photographer has a shot of its dream. For Steve Winter, that shot was a tiger's face seen from below. The challenge, says Winter, who has long covered big cats and other wildlife for National Geographic, was getting that perspective in a way that didn't end with his own face inside the animal's mouth. Enter this apparatus, a camera mounted on a four-wheel remote-controlled vehicle. The camera car had been built by the National Geographic Society's Exploration Technology Lab engineers, but never used. Winter saw its potential to capture that looking upward view and asked if he could take it to India for a project on tiger conservation. The bot was sitting in the basement of the photo engineering department for a long time before Winter noticed it. When he got his hands on it, he instantly recognized the awesome opportunity to use it to get some unique photos of predators in their natural habitat. Winter applied a standard 35mm camera, 
as well as a few solenoids on the back of the robot's device holster to push the camera's buttons and provide him remote control of the device. Few people can boast of seeing the world through the eyes of a turtle, but thanks to the author of the YouTube channel Monster Mike Fishing, we now have that opportunity. Usually the guy deals with fish, but lately, he has switched to turtles. He simply attached a GoPro camera to a red-eared slider turtle and sent it swimming in a pond with other turtles. To ensure the turtle returned, he motivated it with some tasty fish. It's amazing how much the guy trusts the turtle, letting it swim freely with such expensive equipment. But we think as long as he keeps feeding the turtle and its friends tasty fish, there won't be any issues with its return. The footage turned out to be really beautiful and captivating. Let's hope the blogger conducts more such experiments, as long as no animals are harmed. The lawns of Indian Institute of Technology in Kanpur recently witnessed a unique encounter when real dogs encountered a robotic dog. This intriguing event took place during IIT Kanpur's annual tech festival Tech Kriti, and a video capturing the moment has gone viral on YouTube. The video, shared by Dr. Mukesh Bangar, founder and CEO of Mux Robotics, the company behind the innovative robot dog, shows a curious stray dog cautiously approaching the robotic canine. The robot, equipped with advanced AI, responds playfully, even flipping onto its back in a gesture that mimics real dog behavior. The interaction attracts the attention of other stray dogs who join in, circling the robotic newcomer, trying to understand its presence in their territory. The real dog, though a little apprehensive, tries to playfully engage with the robotic dog as the latter tries to reciprocate its moves. Meanwhile, other dogs are also seen trying to figure out the presence of a new dog in their territory as they circle the duo. The video left internet users amused, with many posting an array of comments. While some were thrilled to see the amazing amalgamation of technology and reality, Others hailed India's advancements in robotic technologies. We have already seen the robot dog named Spot, created by Boston Dynamics, at crime scenes or in testing facilities. But few have seen how people and their pets react to these robots when they are simply walking around, for example on a Florida beach attached to a leash. People usually walk their dogs on a leash unless it's a robot dog, a small experiment showed how ready people are to see robots around them in everyday life. A woman conducted an interesting experiment with one of her Boston Dynamics robot dogs, worth $75,000 named Scrappy, by walking it on a street in Florida while hundreds of onlookers watched with excitement and some with fear. During the walk, Scrappy demonstrated its skills by sitting and stopping on command, as well as maneuvering around crowds and objects in its path. The video shows several people following the woman and her metallic friend, taking pictures of the curious stroll with their phones. There was also an interesting interaction between the robot and a live dog, with the live dog reacting in fear. Scrappy lives quite a normal life and even has its own channel on YouTube, where its owners share some moments from their daily life. Now let's move to the circus, and yes, you heard right. Founded in 1871, the Ringling Brothers Circus was once the largest and most famous circus in the world until it closed seven years ago. This year it has made a comeback, but with a twist. There are no animals in the new show because they have been replaced by robotic animals. This is sure to please animal rights activists. For example, the audience is entertained by the Go One robot dog from Unitree Robotics Company. The electronic performer is adorned with pink fur and has a springy tail. The robot is controlled via a joystick-style remote that resembles a drone controller. Incidentally, anyone can buy a Go One for around $2,700. This solution is not only innovative and original, but also efficient. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.